Welcome back everybody, my name is Jensen. This is Nintendo Flips. Long time no see guys, it's been about two months. Uh, I think that I made my last video, yeah, about two months. Uh, I got sick uh, terribly in April and then it carried into May and eventually started getting better in May, but I was so behind on work, I just had no time to do anything until now. Uh, it was terrible guys, I got flu A and then I went through some really weird like sinus infections and I got bronchitis and I just couldn't get any better. Uh, and then I gave it to my son and then it was just like passing around the house and it was just insane. It was just so crazy. Um, here we just have a big problem with bugs just lasting all the way up to summer. Even now with a lot of people in the hospital still getting all kinds of uh, flus and RSV and all these things that shouldn't be around at this time of the year according to the doctor that I was talking to. But we got better. Uh, I got better. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, I decided, you know what? This time I'm gonna start a new challenge. I'm still collecting for the 3DS, right? I still wanna build that collection that we have back there because it is important for us to be able to complete that 3DS collection. I decided that I was gonna kind of keep a better track of what I'm buying, spending, and then what we made for profit and then how much of that profit we're using for the collection. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, as you know guys here in China, I am uh, usually build up an inventory, a bunch of it, and then I take it to the US and I put it all on eBay. I use those, pro those funds to buy all kinds of 3DS games and stuff that I bring back to build that collection. So this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set myself a, a budget that I can use to be able to buy uh, all these things that I wanna take. And I wanna go ahead and maybe either double or triple that amount, see if I can with all the things that I find. It's gonna be hard because I only have two months, guys. It's uh, June now. I will probably go to the US in August. So I think it's gonna keep me busy. Uh, for some of you maybe that are flipping or collecting, just having this kind of money and being like, okay, I have this money. I'm gonna just spend it in all kinds of stuff might not work for you. Uh, some of like my friend Edgar, he just kind of buys at the time. He's buying and buying and then taking funds, reinvesting, reinvesting. For me, I'm just gonna take funds from what I had made the previous last two times that I sold, uh, which is, um, it was pretty good. I did pretty good on both uh, years. So I'm gonna take some of that money and I'm gonna reinvest it. So this time I'm gonna start off with an amount of money, which is right here, $6,000. I'm gonna take this amount of money and I'm gonna use the next two months to invest it uh, the best way that I can in all kinds of things to go ahead and flip. And then I wanna try to make at least twice as much as that and then use that to be able to buy 3DS games and things that I need for the collection when I go home in August. Will it work? I don't know. We're gonna try our best. So this is the $6,000 challenge. Buy as much as we can, recuperate the $6,000 and at least come up with six or more thousand dollars in profit so that we can use it for things to buy in the US when we go home in, uh, in uh, August. So first thing I bought guys is this shirt, which is gonna be subtracted from that amount of money. Uh, I wanted to buy this shirt. It was 70 RMB, maybe like $10. This shirt, according to uh, eBay, sells for around, I don't know, about $90, 60 to $90. And I bought it because I have, of course, this 3DS here, crossover with uh, Pikachu and Mario. And this is kind of like mimics this here. So I was like, that is awesome. And I was like, I'm picking up that shirt for that $10, right? Really good deal. And then I found some stuff that my friend uh, had given me that I guess I forgot about. <laughs> This is a NBA Jam, Edgar hooked me up with this one. It is complete, a little beat up, but um, even so, it's one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. Uh, love this game. Boom, chakalaka laka, he's on fire. And then I found a 3DS game, I guess it fell behind like some of the stuff I had over there. And I was cleaning and I found it, uh, Shakedown Hawaii. I bought it in the US. They did like a limited print of them or something like that, I guess. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick it up. Since I'm collecting all the 3DS games, I decided to pick that one up. I also picked up the Amiibo, the last one that I needed for all the uh, Zelda Amiibos. Picked this one up here, paid about $15 for it. And um, yep, finally completed with all the uh, Amiibos. All those are out of the way. Uh, my friend uh, also hooked me up with Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Uh, I left up the bongos at the US because I just didn't have any room. I was bringing so much stuff and uh, I'll get them this time when I go home in August and complete this one. I actually played the first one when I was working at GameStop, but they had the GameCube with the bongos. So uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, I spent a lot of time when there was no customers in the store playing uh, that, uh, that uh, Donkey Kong game, the first one, which was really cool. It was really fun and I really enjoyed that. So next thing I picked up, uh, you know me, plushies. I love collecting plushies. I got this one here. Uh, it's really cool. These buttons are really hard here. Uh, there's a Mario one too. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find it. But this one here picked it up. I got it for about uh, 25 RMB, $4. So I was like, very nice. I'm a big fan of collecting these kind of weird plushies. So you know what? I was like, I'm picking that up for $4. Can't, can't beat that. 
And then um, I saw this one here, <laughs> Gravity Falls. Um, it's uh, not even the right ones, I think. It's like Grunto, Stan, and Bill Cipher. And uh, I don't know if those are the right ones, but I think there's something wrong with this. this he's not supposed to be here, I think, or something. I don't know, something. But these uh, tend to do pretty well. Uh, I got it for, what, 98 RMB, $14. Can go for $50 to $80. But since it's like a misprint or mispackaging, I don't know if it'll be worth anymore. Uh, but yeah, it's really weird um, that these are together. It's supposed to be somebody else, I guess. Like, um... Yeah, they're supposed to be somebody else and they package these in here. They're supposed to be them too, right? So I have no idea what's going on here. Will it sell? I don't know. It was $15. It's worth a, it's worth a risk, an investment. See if we can sell it. I was like, I'll, I'll take it. And then as you guys know, I do collect a bunch of, um, what is it? Whoops, let me get this out of the way. I've got them all over the place. I do collect uh, not for resale cards, right? So I did pick one up here. Uh, this one here, it's the uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong Mini Land Mayhem, not for resale. Added to my not for resale collection. This one I won't resell, it's just for me. I paid uh, 20 RMB, $3. And of course, we're gonna keep it for our collection. And then uh, when I was at home, I actually found one. So I bought it when I was at, in the US and it went, and I got here, it was waiting for me. And then I found this one. I also found this uh, Pokemon, what is it? Uh, something, Rangers? I uh, can't even see. Ranger, Guardian Signs or something like that. So these are not for resale. So again, uh, it's an extra one. These I didn't pay anything. I've just found them at home. And I also had this one at home uh, from, I guess I had, a per I had found them some time back, Golden Sun. So that's some more that we can add to our not for resale um, collection that we have going. I also have uh, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, uh, not for resale. And I paid this one $15. Uh, to add to the collection sells for 15 and again, we're all subtracting this from the six thousand dollars because um, I'm just giving myself that amount and if I have to keep those items and that's the money that I'm losing from the funds, right? And then this one here. I have no idea where it came from Yoshi's New Island I must have bought it with some sort of bundle or something But I went back through my purchases and I just couldn't find it But we need it for our now for resale collection. So we're gonna add it on there And then these two this is the ones I got really lucky on uh, somebody was selling this these two together here uh, Kirby's e e Extra Epic Yarn, not for resale, in Mario Kart 7. And uh, I was like, wow, we really need that. Uh, Mario Kart I think I already have, but for both of them, sorry, for both of them I paid $15. And uh, the Mario Kart sells for like $25, and this one could go for $100 to $250 on uh, eBay. Of course, we need it for our collection, so we're keeping uh, Extra Epic Yarn here. So again, some really cool items that um, I found here, but these are all staying with us so we can just build them into the collection. And now let's look at some of the items that we're actually gonna maybe flip, right? Uh, so first thing here, I found this one here. It's brand new, it's called a World of Horror uh, for the Nintendo Switch. This one I paid 190 RMB, $30. Sells for about 40 to $50, so not too bad. Small profit here that we can make off of that. Uh, next thing I got here is uh, Tokyo Mirage Session. This one did really good for me last time. I took about 10 of them home last time, I think. And I sold them anywhere from $40 to $50. And this one here, I got it for about $12. And again, it could sell for up to $50. So this is a really good game to be on the lookout for. Um, here, I can usually I can make some really good profit from that. Uh, next one here is a bunch of PS Vita games that I picked up. Uh, Conception 2. I already have it in the collection, so we won't be keeping this one. Um, usually, they never have anything inside. This one here, I paid $9. Sales for $20. I got PS Vita Technica, paid $8 for it. Um, can sell for about $50 uh, complete. Oh, never complete because I never have that insert. Uh, Ninja Gaiden Sigma paid 66 RMB, which is $9, sells for 30. Civilizations 2, um, this one here is 150 RMB, but I paid for it, sells for uh, $28, uh, dollars, um, which is not too bad. Um, I already have it, so don't need it. Asphalt uh, Injection, uh, 99 RMB is what I paid, it's $14. Sells for 25. Uh, Luminous, here I got it for $14, sells for 15. I think this one I need in the collection, so staying with us. And I'll let you know at the end of the video what I'm keeping and then what we are gonna sell. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then next I picked up some uh, PS4 games, uh, just random games that I find all the time. Here is Saint Seiya, paid 268 RMB, which is $38. Can go for 65 to uh, $90, depends uh, on the time, I guess, how many are available. I picked up a bunch of uh, games here. This is also uh, Bullet, 
Girls Fantasia for the PS4. Um, this is like the Asian version of it. This one's brand new. Uh, this one here is uh, the new one I paid up, what was it? Um, 289 RMB, $41, can sell for $60 to $100 new. And then of course I got two used ones for uh, $17 and $21 and they can sell for $40 to $60. So it's a good, nice profit to make. Another game that did really well for us is this one right here, Transformers Devastation. Got it for about $12, can sell for 65. This one's really going really good right now for a really good price. So if I can find more of this one, I'll definitely be keeping an eye on that. So some nice little profit we made there. Uh, of course, um, there's so many other things that, we're, that, we're, that I'm looking at, especially this one here. Uh, Pokeball Plus, these tend to do pretty well right now. I got it for $31, 222 RMB, and they can sell for 150 used if they have Mew. If they're brand new, they can go for like $200. So that's something I'll be keeping an eye out for in the future. And then um, something I found that was really cool is these ocarinas. Where is it? Uh, this one here, please. I found these right here. These are like Think Geek ocarinas of, um, the, from Zelda, right? And then um, you can like play notes on it, right? Like depends what setting you put back here. This is like, some of them are programmed like, let's see if I can figure this out. Nope, messed it up. Let's try again. And then you hit the right codes on there, right? And then it'll play the song for you, right? And there's so many of them. Um, it comes with a little booklet. Uh, and these um, here, I got them for really cheap guys. I got like a few of them. Uh, here I got a pair and the guy wanted I believe what like 30 RMB for him the 39 RMB for him which is like ten dollars for both of them together and they can sell for about sixty to eighty dollars on eBay so I was like this is pretty awesome and the reason that I started looking for these is that I actually found one to keep for myself which is actually complete which is right here uh, it's uh, it was sold at Think Geek I don't know what the original price was but it tells you like, uh, still have it in the box, uh, modes of play and stuff like that. I keep having this thing here, it's a big piece of tape, so I never took it out. This one here, uh, brand new, I believe I got it for uh, 100 RMB, $15. And then brand new in the box like this can sell for 100. But as you know, I'm a huge fan of Zelda, so I'm gonna keep this one for me. This is for my collection. So again, something to add to the collection. And again, it's gonna come out of those $6,000 because we're using it to buy stuff and then we're gonna keep stuff. Well, it's only fair to uh, take money from there and make it um, make it fair. Okay, and then um, I used to buy a lot of games from this one guy. That's where I got all my uh, loose games last time, all those Pokemon X, Y, what else did I get, Kid Icarus, all those Fire Emblems that he had. And he had a few uh, games uh, bundled. This one, it was six games right here. These six games, he wanted $21. And uh, some really good ones here. It's got WWF, uh, what is it? Oops, it's gonna be hard to focus. Uh, Superstars, this one here uh, goes for 15. Uh, Lego Pirates, that one sells for like six to eight. Fire and Rescue sells for five. Triple Deluxe for 13. Codename Steam for five. And then Revelations for uh, 20. So again, pay $21 for it. And this is about $80 worth of 3DS games uh, profit. So not too bad, definitely was worth it uh, purchasing. And then he put up another one, um, which is seven 3DS games. And again, paid another $21 for it. And the best one of them, that I need for my collection right here is the Not For Resale Majora's Mask. This one can go for about $70 on eBay, keeping that one. Super Mario does about seven, Mario Kart about 10, Monster Hunter nine, the other Monster Hunter three, this was three, this is four, nine, Pest does about eight, and then Resident Evil Mercenaries does about 18, so not too bad. So I paid $21 and it's about $131 in value, but we're keeping the most expensive one, of course, for our Not For Resale collection. Again, this guy had so many games, guys, and eventually he ran out. There was uh, somebody who was just buying them like crazy from him, and it was during that time that I was sick, so I wasn't really investing my energy and time into purchasing. I just spent a lot of time in bed, guys. It was terrible, and the hospital, so I did miss out a lot, and I saw a lot of things sell, and I was just like, ah, what to do, right? Uh, next one here, I picked up the PS Vita bundle. Uh, it was these five games here. The guy wanted 135 RMB, which is $20, and I was like, sure. Um, picked up this one here, Ragnarok Odyssey. For uh, This one is uh, $15, sells for $15. Uh, Muramasa Rebirth, even with uh, no case, sells for about $40 to $50. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 sells for $28. Uh, Borderlands for $24. And Dragon Age, uh, Dragon's Crown, sorry, for $29 to $30 to $35. So uh, this little bundle here paid $20, a little bit over $20, and it sells for, uh, for $152. So definitely some really good profit from these games here, guys. And that's what I keep an eye out for, especially PS Vita bundles. 
And that's where I found the next one. I found this next bundle here uh, with eight games. This one here, the guy wanted a little bit more. He wanted 380 RMB, which is $54, but it had some really good games. So most wanted, this one usually sells for, um, what about $20? And then we have Gravity Rush. That one does pretty well, guys. Um, sells for about, uh, focus? Focus, nope. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Well, <laughs> what's it focusing on? Uh, we'll figure it out another time. Uh, Gravity Rush, which is $43. Uh, Disgaea 3, which goes for about $35. And most of these we already have in the collection. Little little Deviants, which goes for about $14. Uh, Hot Shots goes for about uh, $20. PlayStation All-Stars does about $15. Uh, which, which one else? Uh, what's this one? Oh. Uh, new Little King Story goes anywhere from $50 to $80. We don't have this one, so we'll definitely be keeping this one here. Uh, Reality Fighters goes for about $10. I think we're missing this one, so we might keep this one. And then Assassin's Creed, which does $20 to $30. So again, you want your $54 for this bundle of games here, and it's worth about $237. Again, tons of games, guys, for the Vita. Some of those we will keep. Some of them will end up um, flipping. It just depends on the game. So not too bad, guys. Again, just a bunch of really cool stuff that we picked up. Uh, we're just getting started. Um, finally feeling better. I spent about $508 all together in everything that you see here, all the games and the accessories and everything. So uh, the total value of all that is $1,681. So not too bad, guys, out of the um, 4,000, uh, sorry, the $6,000, so we have spent about 508. So we still got uh, $5,492 to invest into everything that we wanna buy. And we're already doing really good on value. And I will let you know next video what we are keeping and how much of that value we are gonna be losing because of the games that I'm keeping. So anyways, guys, we're gonna have a really fun adventure. Uh, I think that I'm gonna run into some really good stuff. I'm looking every day now to purchase items. I've already ran into some really cool things that I'm waiting to come in. They should be coming in in the next couple of days. It's really nice to be back, guys, and share all the cool stuff that I'm finding. Uh, thank you for staying subscribed. Uh, a lot of you didn't leave. I was like, oh my God, two months. I'm sure that uh, they're not gonna hang around. But it's nice to come back and uh, share some of these cool things that um, I found here. And don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring some bells, and come and join us on the adventure because it's going to be crazy, guys. Two months, less than two months, tons of things to buy. So we got to stretch the money as far as we can and buy some amazing stuff. So until next time, guys, I'll see you again.